just saw an amazing play by Harris and David Rivers named Sweet. To see the culmination of, of this play, I mean, I, I'm just, my mind is blown. Black theater is alive. We are all always winning. This play is about two sisters on the verge of change. Uh, their mother dies, the boy next door returns from college, and sparks fly. Our mother is dead, George! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Nina! <laughs> You're so dramatic! I'm not being dramatic, and don't you touch me! Uh, maybe we should get on to the church. Uh, Nina, why won't you just let me be? I think what's really special about this play is that you have an opportunity to zoom in on a specific community in a specific time and place, but it has a universal message that resonates with everyone. It was such a great story. I love the characters. I never expected what was going to happen next, but was so looking forward to it. What's great about Harrison's work as an artist is that it's about a celebration of all of the layers of the complexity of blackness. It's just a powerful play about love and sacrifice and loss and, and what you give up. Because it's like you want something so bad for so long, you don't know what kind of person you'd be without the ache. Hmm. It's like if you ever got what you wanted, but you really want it, you lose yourself entirely. Being able to see this show and past shows and knowing that I'm a part of this family and a part of this Black Joy movement, it's special. I really appreciate the way that NBT gives the season a theme. So I'm very much thinking about Black Joy as it relates to this particular play. And what resonated for me the most was that you have to say yes to your joy. Promoting positive images of ourselves, it, it just felt so wonderful walking in here and seeing all of that. And I just appreciate this black joy. What? This is black joy. I'm so proud of MBT. I'm so grateful for the work they're doing here. I'm so excited about their 48th season, and I'm always just so honored to be in this space.